subscribe. Click on the bell. Like, comment, share. Watch the following videos. Why does Balloon B expand faster than Balloon A? Click on the Problem Statement button to start the experiment. How does temperature affect the rate of reaction between sodium thisulfate solution and dilute sulfuric acid? Based on the Problem Statement, propose the hypothesis for this experiment. Key in your answer and then click the Submit button. What are the variables involved in this experiment? Click and drag the correct variables into the appropriate boxes. Then click on the Check button. Well done! Drag and drop the materials and apparatus needed for this experiment from the shelf onto the work table. Well done! Draw an X about 2 by 2 cm in the center of a piece of white paper. Measure out 25 cubic centimeter of 0.5 mol per cubic decimeter sodium thisulfate solution using a 100 ml measuring cylinder. Pour the sodium thisulfate solution into a clean, dry conical flask. Heat the conical flask to 30 degrees Celsius. Measure the temperature of the solution with a thermometer. Record the temperature reading. Place the white paper with the X mark on the magnetic stirrer. Place the conical flask on the white paper. Measure 5 cubic centimeter of 0.5 mol per cubic decimeter of sulfuric acid. Pour the sulfuric acid into the sodium thisulfate solution at one go. Start the stopwatch and magnetic stirrer immediately. View the X from above and stop the stopwatch as soon as the X cannot be seen. Record the time taken for this process to occur. Repeat the experiment using the same volume and concentration of both solutions at different temperatures as shown in the table. Record the time taken for the process at different temperatures. Key in the recorded time in the table provided. Well done! Based on the results of the experiment, calculate the average reaction rate at different temperatures. Key in your answers into the fourth row of the table, then click on the check button.
Well done! From the tabulated results, plot a graph of temperature of sodium thisulfate solution against 1 over time by clicking on the points on the graph paper. To clear the marking points and start over, click the Clear button. What can you deduce from the graph of temperature of sodium thiosulfate against 1 over time? Key in your answer. Click the check button once you are done. Well done! Well done! Well done! Is the hypothesis that you have stated acceptable? The hypothesis is acceptable. These are examples of reactions affected by temperature. Click the blinking button. Watch the video clip. Based on your observation, what can you conclude? Let's look at decomposition of copper 2 carbonate. Watch the videos. What did you observe? Is there any difference between the heated and the non-heated copper carbonate? Key in your answers to complete the sentences. Now, let's find out if the rate of decomposition of copper 2 carbonate is affected by gentle and strong heating. Watch the video. Based on your observation, what can you conclude? Now, let's see an application of the reaction rate in the kitchen. Muffin batter is added with sodium bicarbonate, also known as baking powder. Watch the videos. When the muffin batter is heated, sodium bicarbonate releases carbon dioxide which causes the batter to rise. Based on your observation, what can you conclude? Key in your answers to complete the sentence. We now know that the rate of reaction is greater at a higher temperature. How can an increase in temperature increase the rate of reaction?
Let's look at what actually happens at the molecular level. Click the blinking button. At a low temperature, particles move slower and with low kinetic energy, which means that less collision takes place. This slows down the formation rate of the products, thus decreasing the reaction rate. Click the blinking button. At a high temperature, particles move faster and with high kinetic energy, which means that more collision takes place. This speeds up the formation rate of the products, thus increasing the reaction rate. In this lesson, we have learned that temperature of reactants is one of the factors that affect the rate of reaction. The higher the temperature, the higher is the rate of reaction. The lower the temperature, the lower is the rate of reaction. Examples of the effects of temperatures on the rate of reaction can be seen in the oxidation of magnesium, the decomposition of copper to carbonate, and the baking of muffin. At a low temperature, particles will have low kinetic energy and move slower, which means that fewer collisions will take place. This will slow down the formation rate of the products, thus decreasing the reaction rate. At a high temperature, Particles will have high kinetic energy and move faster, which means that more collisions will take place. This will speed up the formation rate of the products, thus increasing the reaction rate. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like the video. And don't forget to subscribe.